Hey guys, I'm Draz, this is Ben, we just saw it. So what do you think, Ben? You float too! So the plot's about seven kids called the Losers living in Derry. They get terrorized by a psychotic entity called It, which is uh, Pennywise the Clown. So this is one of the most highly anticipated films of the year. Even Stephen King said he shitted his pants <laughs> watching it twice. Twice, wow. Yep, so Ben, what did you think of this? Uh, look, mate, I did like it. I can't say that I generally think it's you know the, the modern classic that I wanted it to be, but I was frequently uh, thrilled, scared, um, entertained, uh, and surprisingly, I, I laughed a few times in this film. I don't actually think this movie is a straight up horror. Like I know that seems weird to say that, but it reminded me more of Stranger Things, the R-rated version, <laughs> or you know, like a harder edged Stand By Me if there was a psychotic clown running through the film. <laughs> what did you think? Okay, so remember when you're a kid and you play with toys and then you reach a certain age and you just can't play with them anymore? It's like horror movies. You're a kid, it scares you, makes you shit your pants. Then you get older and it's like, no, nah, it's all Hollywood crap. Well, I was on the edge of my seat. I'm like, okay, look, we've seen the, uh, the trailers and all that. But when I saw Pennywise come out, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I think he is definitely, like, he does a great job in this. He gets, he gets uh, not a lot to do in the early parts of the film, but as it goes on, he gets just he sort of comes into the light in a way. Oh yeah. And I think that that's like obviously something that might be contentious with people because just the tendency um, with horror films is to you know um, just hint at the villain like it's scarier mm -hmm. that what you don't see is scarier. This is this is why I was so frightened by Halloween. Like oh when I Halloween! I saw that for the first time, you know, because you actually didn't see much of Michael Myers beneath the mask, and they actually do in the latter parts of this film show more and more of Pennywise. And I got less and less frightened of him, but he's incredibly effective. Uh, you were talking about this thing that Bill Sarsgaard does, is like this frothy kind of. Oh, I love like the dribble. dribble. Yeah, I love the dribble. Which, you know, he, he totally puts his own mark on the, on this role. Um, I, I'm not just saying that because he's behind me, by the way. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not frightened for my life right now. I am frightened for my life. <laughs> so overall, the young cast was fantastic. They gelled together. They were more believable than the original telly series, I, I sure. believe. You got to really get to know the characters in depth. But what did you think about that? Yeah, they were great. I mean, this is where the Stranger Things uh, comparison comes from. Because, you know, one of these kids is in Stranger Things. Yeah. And they've kind of assembled, like, you know, a who's who of, like, child actors that are, you know, all the rage at the moment. I mean, they kind of don't all get f fleshed mm. out equally. But I think, um, like... From what time, little time we do get with each of them, we get to know them. We get to know them quite well. Did you think it was it was over long, or it was just the right length for you? Uh, I think you and me both looking at each other when we're watching it and sort of getting antsy and just you know twisting and turning a little bit about it. But yeah. I, I think once we see, well, once we saw the climax just creeping up, and we're like, okay, they're in and they're doing that then we sort of knew it was going to wrap up and then it just made it a little bit more enjoyable. But it, yeah, it went a little bit, a little bit long. So closing thoughts, I like to say that Pennywise cements himself as one of the true horror icons next to Freddy Jason, Leatherface, all the rest of them. I think for me, what this film shows is that the 80s, in case you didn't already realize, is back in a big way. Like nostalgia is just rife at the moment, you know? Like between what we've already mentioned, Stranger Things, and you've got films like Ready Player One coming out, which heroes the 80s. Um, obviously, this is, this is a film made for adults, and the adults watching it grew up in the 80s or love the 80s. So I feel like this film is obviously going to, I think it's going to do quite well. They've already said they're going to oh, make yes. a sequel. Oh yes, they're going to be making think, a sequel, 100%. I think it's, it's definitely a success. 
Anyway guys, I'm Draz. I'm Ben. Remember to subscribe below to our channel. And if you lose your boat in a sewer, don't go in after it. Should we uh, let a balloon go for our homie? I think so.